Hey, what's up, babes? Welcome back. It's your girl, Barb City, where it's always mother and litty. Let's go on ahead and get into SZA. SZA has the internet extremely upset because she decided to donate to a family over in Maui. And when she did this, y'all, she only sent $2,500. People feel like a woman like SZA definitely could have done more. And if she wasn't going to do that, she shouldn't have done anything at all. They are not even trying to realize the fact that SZA did donate. And a lot of these artists don't even do that, okay? Here's what's being reported. SZA donated 2.5K to a local family affected by the wildfire in Maui. And here were some of the comments. She couldn't squeeze in more numbers. She could have donated way more. That's it. All that money and only 2.5K. And this next comment, I definitely agree with. Y'all saying that's it. But it's important to acknowledge that she made donations to multiple families and organizations. Let's avoid being insincere by pretending to care about social issues when we haven't made any contributions ourselves. You bitch! How dare you? Oh my god! So I definitely agree with that, y'all. Don't be out here trying to judge nobody's donation if you have not sent one, okay? Let's move forward into Sexy Red and 77 Cents. Child, I am just over it. This is starting to get so boring, so weird, and so played out. Like, ever since Rap Game, 77 cents has been being exposed time and time again for copying people for stealing lyrics like it's just it is so played out now she's copying sexy red you guys this woman had the nerve to do sexy red's signature move that she does at every single event right now, I'm going to give you guys my opinion, but first, I'm going to play the clip. So, my opinion is, clearly, she's a copycat, and I'm tired of it. I see, like this shit is disgusting me. Like this shit is starting to fucking be dis. I want to fucking stick my finger in my throat and throw the fuck up on this phone. Like that's how disgusting this shit. But on the back end, maybe her and Sexy Red have a song coming out together because you guys know all it takes is for someone to hang out with 77 cents one time and their personality becomes theirs or excuse me hers so again maybe they hung out before maybe they ran into each other maybe they have a song coming all i know is this is sexy red's signature move and it's totally embarrassing for 77 cents to be up here trying to do it embarrassing now while we're on sexy red you guys let's get into these comments real quick nah she is trolling too many artists back to back but sexy does this move every single event she is definitely mimicking her she is doing this to get attention and it's working so sad three more people saying she lacks authenticity okay that's the problem who is lotto no identity not an original bone in her mother in body <laughs> like dang girl can you be yourself Always something with these bitches. Like, be yourself. I promise it's okay to be yourself. I promise. God. 
so you guys, Sexy Red also linked up with Drake again, as you guys can see here. And she captioned these pictures, I'm with my man, but I'm still waiting for my other man to basically get out of jail. This girl is a hot mess, but I'm totally here for it, okay? Now, with all of that being said, you guys, we got to get into the queen, the razzle-dazzle of the video, the best part, okay? And I'm just going to go over the queen stats. You guys know I love to do that here. And just Nikki news, period. And just uplift the barbs and let y'all know we are winning at all times, okay? With that being said, let me run them real quick. Nicki Minaj becomes the first female rapper to surpass 65 million monthly listeners on, in Spotify history. Barbie World by Nicki Minaj and I Spice has now surpassed Put It On The Floor Again to become the highest female rap song on U.S. radio currently. Complex ranks Nicki Minaj as the greatest female rapper of all time. Uh, DJ Booth talks about working with Nicki Minaj for Revolt TV. He said, she's a perfectionist. She never lets up. Artists now perform over MP3 tracks. And Nicki really rhymes over TV tracks and remembers every word. She takes it very seriously. We might rehearse it 50, 60, or 100 times. Also... Nicki Minaj did release a rap snippet. I told y'all, I knew that this album was going to be full of rap and pop. You guys already know Nicki Minaj raps on all her pop songs. So it doesn't really make a difference. But I knew this album was going to be rap and pop. I said it first, okay? You guys, she released the rap snippet and some of her lyrics said, Picture using me and the barbs and never giving it back or never giving back. Like, she literally shaded every single op, every single dud there is in the industry all at one time. <laughs> okay, <I'll> <laughs> but, you know, I'm not going to do too much. I'm going to go on ahead and get up out of here. I love you guys so much. Thanks.